Over the past 54 years, the Ghana Atomic Energy Commission, GAEC, has been working on peaceful application of nuclear technologies to various sectors of national life through research and development of technologies. The Commission, since 1963, has provided real-time solutions to various sectors of Ghana's economy through its seven research institutes that were established after the amendment of Act 204 in 1993 by PNDC Law 308. To ensure a remarkable transformation across all nuclear institutions, the International Atomic Energy Agency, IAEA, in 2015 adopted a set of Sustainable Development Goals, SDGs. The objective is to embrace the need for economic development through the use of nuclear and isotopic techniques. With the coming in of the SDGs, we are trying to tailor our activities in fulfilling some of the goals of the SDGs. And if we talk about SDG 1, which is the no poverty, we use the nuclear techniques to be able to develop some programs to help people, especially in agriculture. In agriculture, we use biotechnology, vegetation breeding to develop some seeds and seedlings that are resistance to droughts and also to diseases. The IAEA has played an active part in helping the international community, including GAEC, to achieve the set goals by the year 2030. In order to work towards the goals, GAEC has advanced in steps to make the goals achievable. This includes employing competent human resource and providing the needed infrastructure the sustainable management of water and sanitation, for all which are the benchmark for goals 6 and 15, have been made possible by the National Nuclear Research Institute, NNRI. The Isotope Hydrology Lab, since this setup, has been very, very useful. We've delved into a lot of water resources assessment projects in the country. Currently, we are collaborating with the Water Resources Commission, um, the CSIR and other partners. There's a project now in the three regions of Northern Ghana, we call it the Hydrogeological Assessment Program. Through this program, the WRC and then its partners, they've drilled 34 boreholes where they do monitoring constantly. So if the water is deteriorating somewhere, then we have to identify the source of the, the deterioration. So that is where Ghana Atomic Energy Commission and the Institute of Hydrology Lab came in. The geophysics unit under the National Data Center has also made the application of geophysics to industries possible. Under the National Data Center, we have a geophysics unit that has to do with applications of geophysics to industry. We are looking at the mining sector, we are looking at the oil sector, we are looking at the water sector, and we are looking at engineering fields. That is applications of geophysics to on a certain ground condition. In Ghana, it's not everywhere you drill and get water. Just a one meter away from drilling from one point where you get water, a one meter or a two meter away from that point, you may not get water. Some few years back when there was problem about water, we used an instrument to search for points on the properties of Atomic Energy Commission. And we're able to sink seven boreholes some of which is being used by the bungalows. With support from the Dutch government, the IAEA has provided the commission with a linear accelerator. The facility is a linear accelerator that was acquired with the help of the uh, International Atomic Energy Agency as well as the Dutch government. This facility can be used for determining elements in various samples like the agricultural samples, you can determine elements in it because crops are grown on different types of soil. So you will, we are interested in looking at heavy metals, mercury, cadmium, lead, which are not good for humans. We can also look at the archaeological sector. When we have archaeological digs, we can have samples that we can analyze to try and relate it to provenance, where those samples are coming from historically. 
We also can do geological materials that you can look at rocks and then try to determine elements of economic importance. We can also look at uh, films uh, and then packaging as well as things that we consume because the whole essence is to ensure that our food is safe for consumption. To achieve goal two of the SDGs, which aims at ending hunger and achieving food security, Biotechnology and Nuclear Agriculture Research Institute, Binary, as breeding new plants varieties to protect plants from insects and pests. The institute is currently providing radiation services to all sectors of the economy through the Gamma Radiation Facility. The Gamma Radiation Facility is presently providing radiation services to all sectors of the Ghanaian economy. We are presently receiving items from the food sector, medical sectors. We are presently also encouraging people from outside Accra to also uh, take advantage of our facilities to process their products, especially in the area of medical items. These can be packaged and brought to our facility for processes, meaning that food entrepreneurs, food processors within Accra and even outside Accra can take advantage of our services. The safe use of radiation in various fields has been a topmost priority for the Radiation Protection Institute, RPI. All facilities which use radioactive sources or radioactive materials have to ensure that their employees are monitored under this program, which is the individual monitoring for the radiation that they receive in the course of their work. And the monitoring process normally is minimum of a month and the maximum of three months. That's if you give it a TLD card, within a month, we're supposed to receive it, then read, and then give you the results. The maximum of three months it has to be changed. Consistency is very important because cancer induction through research has been shown to take a period before it shows up in the person's health. So currently, we're monitoring about 2,000 occupationally exposed workers. This secondary standard dosimetry laboratory was set up in partnership with the International Atomic Energy Agency. And uh, we do our calibrations in the calibration bunker. In the calibration bunker, we use a cesium-137 gamma source for which we have determined the dose profile which we use as our standard and based on that dose profile we compare the readings of the radiation detection equipment that we calibrate to the readings that we obtain when we are developing the dose profile and based on that comparison we are able to determine a calibration coefficient or a calibration factor unique to that particular radiation detection equipment. In the health sector, we've done work for Kolebu Teaching Hospital, uh, Konfanoche Teaching Hospital, and a number of government and private hospitals. We do so for mining industries as well. Our lab also does work with students, students from various universities and polytechnics in Ghana, as well as other research organizations. The RPI's Alpha Spectrometer Lab has also carried out testing on large environmental water samples to ensure consumer safety. What we do in this lab is to screen large environmental water samples to detect if the water samples are slightly contaminated with a radioactive material or substance. Most industries and companies pollute the environment and we are interested in the water environment. Since they deposit their waste substances and some of the radioactive substances as their byproducts being deposited in the water bodies. And as a result of this, when humans drink it, it becomes detrimental to their health. We have help from the international body, that is the International Atomic Energy Agency. They supported the commission by providing enough equipment and facilities to assist in this activity. GAEG decided to commercialize its research findings and products to institutions and companies that need them. Remarks from clients have been impressive since this was rolled out. I just want to commend the collaboration 
uh, that is taking place here at GAEC. This e-waste project is to serve as a model for other regions to be able to manage their e-waste uh, properly for corporate institutions to, to come on board so that their e-waste will be properly channeled and managed properly. Uh, it is in support with the, the national policy, uh, environmental uh, national sanitation policy. It is in support of the Hazardous uh, Waste uh, Act, uh, Act 917 uh, 2016. It is in support of government's desire to create jobs uh, across board for the youth. With all these activities of the Ghana Atomic Energy Commission, the Commission is poised to achieve the SDGs by the year 2030.